Hello and welcome to the Miscast Table. My name is Mons. And my name is Jonas. And today, Mons, we're gonna play some Underworlds. Yes, we are. Uh, I'm trying to make a comeback with the Hexbane's Hunters after the crit heavy game that we had yeah. <laughs> last time. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to try to do that against the Molog. Molog the Mighty. <laughs> yeah. And I don't really have anyone that can deal that much damage aside from. Amos Don Carroll. Can <laughs> it, it would be <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. I do have to look out for that woodcutter strength. Yeah, woodcutter strength and all successes plus one damage. Um, <laughs> just cleave Molog in half. Uh, yeah. That is the timber. Game. Yeah. <laughs> but, or, uh, yeah. But I think it's gonna be a fun game. Long time since we played Molog. We haven't played yeah. in this season yet. We we have had some really weird games when we played off camera with Molog. It's yeah. like super one sided. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he can become a, a monster. So, yeah. uh, but I'm, I have good range attack actions, and I hope that I, if I can keep my distance from the troll, maybe I can yeah. bring this. Yeah, uh, you have a, a good amount of fighters at least, so yeah. <laughs> you can lose a couple. <laughs> I can lose a couple, but I don't want to get too close to to it's, it's going to be interesting to see how you deal with the dogs, because they're going to get up close and personal, but you don't necessarily have to take out Moloch. No, I don't. Or you focus him if you get some early crits yeah. in. And you shouldn't get into that trap, like, you should play your game plan, try to score your objectives, not yeah. like, Moloch needs to die, because <laughs> he is and then you get that, that like, <laughs> crushing, uh, siding attack in, and then, uh, oh. Yeah, he can, he can be a problem. Um, but I wish you the best of luck, and if you roll as many crits as last time, uh, we, we, we're not making any more videos. <laughs> oh, I'm <no>. retiring. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, the same to you, Mons. Best of luck. Let's head into the game. Yeah. Start with the roll-off. Uh, see if I can get some crits. I get no uh, crits. What one half? One. Okay, so I think you can choose the board first. I choose the board, all right. Uh, we got a question on our, our last video about the dogs. The, they can't move, right, when they have a move token, because the move token prohibits them from <laughs> I thought so, but uh, then uh, there was a really good uh, comment pointing out that uh, the cards uh, rules text override the generic rules text uh, and the cards on the dogs uh, allows them to make uh, additional move actions. Yeah, that is. So we should clarify that. That is true. Um, I read that rule. So uh, yeah, good, good point. Good, uh, and thank you for for helping us with that as well. Yeah, that is. is uh... I really wish we were like not here <laughs> with the rules. But there, yeah. there's a lot of like tricky stuff that can. Yeah, I have the end. There's depth to this game. Yeah. Like, yeah. And uh, there are some really, really interesting reaction cards in your deck right now. And I hope yeah. that we, <laughs> we have some I, fun there. I, I might not hope that we get to see yeah. them. But, um, yeah, I have some fun cards in Cuba. I read about this, about the, the reactions. When a gambit specifies particular action action, a fighter can make those actions even if a rules game yeah. is normal alive. For example, if a gambit says a fighter can make a move action, you can do something without that move token. But this is a fighter card and not like a ploy card. True, although I think it might still be in the spirit of the game, because the entire loss rules text is also on the uh, fighter card. Uh, the, it, what does that one say? Uh, then dynamic uh, pick, move or attack action, and then you get to do that action yeah, with yeah, the yeah, whole... that's true. Yeah, so then they should be able to make move actions yeah. continuously. Yeah, that is true. That is correct. Are you happy with the placement of the board, or are you just... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I kind of want to have my options open and we're gonna have to navigate through yeah. some lethal access. Yeah, you have... I get to place my fighters kind of close, which is scary. Uh, really, really scary. Uh, then we our some... side, yeah, <laughs> our side, <laughs> communism. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun. I thought about when I when I recorded the game. I I said that last last year my opponent cheated <laughs> and misplayed a spell, and when I said this year, this year we made a mistake. <laughs> so I said my opponent cheated, but we made a mistake. <laughs> so it's I really think that's diplomatic. Yeah, the tune is quite different. Yeah. But,
make a roll off and see who starts, and you have one extra crit. Yep. If unless Stalag swing counts, well, I guess it doesn't. Oh, that's not a great roll. Okay. Uh, yeah, automatically succeed. Yep. Okay, so I kind of want you to start. You want me to start? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm using uh, Bridget. Bridget, and I am making an attack action against Stalag Squid. Uh, I'm rolling three dice, and I am looking for uh, Fury. Oh, that's now it begins. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, Stalag like Squid is serious. Yeah, that's. <laughs> you know, is, 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 this, is this the way it's gonna be? Is this the way? It's gonna it be. This the way. I'm yeah. <laughs> going home. Uh, all right, but I do get to start this off by uh, playing contest of equals, fail attack action with the same number of successes. Yeah, and we get double crit both of us. Yeah, which is a disgusting amount, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it works out. Yeah, but I, it, I get get my score at least. And would you like to play? I would like to play power card afterwards. I would also like to play a power okay. card. Uh, so I'm gonna start with Cover of Darkness. Push one friendly fighter up to two hexes into a cover hex. Mm. Now he is within range, which is which is not great. Serious. Yeah, but you did you did three damage and only have two life, which means I can't really defeat him. But I'm gonna play by the order of the walls. Choose one friendly. Give an upgrade from your hand. Do not spend any glory points when you play that card. When you play this card, you can spend one glory oh, point. You do draw one power card. So I'm gonna spend the glory yeah. point. But I'm gonna give it retractable pistol. No. To, <laughs> to explain. <laughs> oh no. Uh, and then I'm going to draw a card. Okay. okay. Uh, I would like to delve. Mm -hmm. And unless you want to play anything, I would like to score a surge objective. No, I don't want to play anything else. No. Okay. So I'm gonna score shadow eliminations. Uh, score this after a power step if your warband flipped a feature token in enemy territory and uh, that token is an objective token held by a friendly leader. Yep. Now I have a feeling that the Molog might be, be hitting something. He might be, he might be. But uh, unfortunately quite Pock has kind of good defensive roles. And I am outside, out of range to hit the multiple targets. I'm, I think I'm just gonna do a makeshift. Club attack. Yeah, uh, rolling three two damage. dice, looking for hammers. One. Hammer and support. Uh, I'm rolling two dice, uh, and I am looking for shields. I get a crit. crit. Okay. <laughs> it's one of those games. Yeah, it is one of those games. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything about it. Pass it on to you. If you want to, if you don't want to play anything, I'm gonna. Delve. Uh, you can delve this, I believe. Okay. I don't want you to be able to just stand there and hit me, so I think I'm gonna, gonna move. Uh, so I'm making a charge action over here, and then I'm shooting a small log. Sure. Uh, so I'm rolling two dice with my crossbow launcher. Let's see here. With the crossbow launcher. Uh, and I get double successes. Double successes, okay. Uh, I get nothing. So your attack goes through. Yes, then you are dealt two damage. Two damage. Yes, and I can push you back with knockback as well. So the question is where do I want you? I want you as far away as possible. So I think I push you there and then there. Hmm. I think, I believe that that sure. must be the play. Sure. Now Molog has, has like 24 life remaining. <laughs> <Finally>. <laughs> yeah. right. I think I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, because I need some additional fighters. I'm gonna spend one glory. I'm gonna give great strength. <laughs> it's a spy room. <laughs> no, can't be given. No, no attack action. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Yeah. So it's great strength uh, sprite room. Yeah. And I'm gonna make a charge attack action with him. Moving up. Surprise! The <laughs> retractable pistol. Yeah, sure. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so, um, looking for fury. I don't get any fury. 
No. Unfortunately. So it is a failed attack action. It's gonna roll my defensive. I got one, so... No, I didn't get any. And then I make an attack action. Yeah. So I'm gonna roll two dice, looking for fury against Brett. Nothing. Nothing. Um, I'm gonna roll just for the, for the sake of it. And... Uh, yeah, do you want to play anything? I don't think that I do. And now it starts to get a little bit tricky here. Which which one do I want to target? Because I don't want you to be able to hit me with Molog <laughs> in a way that, that is not uh, ideal. No, that would, would not be great. He's dealing two with Grievous, yeah. I think I'm making a charge attack action over over here. And then I'm gonna use the reaction loyal hound. And I'm gonna move this guy over here so I have yeah. the supports. And then I'm shooting. Spike room. Uh, rolling three dice, looking for Fury with Grievous. And crit. I get crit and, and the support. support. Yeah. And then I cannot succeed, I think. Nope. Alright, then he is dealt two damage. Two damage takes Spike Shroom out of action. Uh, then I get a reaction from you killing him. Uh, during an attack action, yeah, or <laughs> uh, Gambit that takes enough damage takes the fight of action. Uh, Addison. Uh, fighter suffers one damage. Yeah, so Bridge up and the dog yeah. is dealt, dealt damage, unfortunately. And I would like to play a card as well in the power step. Uh, I would like to uh, inspire Haskell. Yeah. Uh, this uh, fight attack can take an amount of action. And Bridge a friendly Haskell Hexpain, is inspired. Unfortunately for Bridge Predatory Grove. Choose an enemy fighter and push them one hex. Yeah. Uh, that is going to happen. Uh, but I'm gonna have to score this first. Okay. Uh, do you process? Score this melee out your warband, make a four to subsequent attack action or the second successful one. And I did yeah. both that time. So. Uh, but so Bridget, like... after that, she does indeed die. Something for nothing. Yeah. Or something for something. Mm. I'm gonna make. <laughs> do... okay. I'm gonna play something. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna play Dually Speed. No. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> X-Men. I have the Wombo combo going. <laughs> okay, we should take a moment and explain this. Yes, uh, you can explain this one. Okay. So, each time uh, we get into range, uh, then you get to make the uh, reaction surprise from the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the retractable pistol. Retractable pistol. And each time you make the attack with a retractable pistol, you get to trigger Dualist Speed. Yeah. Meaning that if I ever try to charge Haskell, he's gonna shoot at me and then he's gonna jump one step behind. Yeah. It basically means that a range, a fighter with a range one attack action can never kill Haskell. Yeah, can because, never touch Haskell. Because like part of the super action is making the move action, which triggers the shot, which and triggers the away. push, <laughs> and then, then you can't fulfill the attack action. No. So, so you have to corner him into... <laughs> yeah. It's the greatest thing ever, uh, by the um, way. Uh, arguably not. <laughs> Okay, that's I gonna be a problem. It's pretty, that's gonna be a problem. Cool. Although, actually. And he has such a great range as well. One, two, three, four. I'm just gonna try to kill your dog. With my third activation, I am gonna activate Bat Squig. Go over here, make an attack action mm -hmm. against. He's the... out of range for Haskell, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, two dice, uh, looking for Fury. Ooh. One crit. And he only has one defensive roll. <laughs> we'll also get the crit. Okay, but uh, do I want to push you then? You can push me into the objective. Yeah, into yeah the... it's better to have you there than to yeah. have you. So now I'm dead. Uh, but he doesn't award any points. No, oh, and on the contrary, you get to inspire. <laughs> yeah, I get to inspire uh, Quiet Pop and I get to inspire Grot Spider. Yep. And then you make your fourth activation. Yes, my fourth and final activation. Can I do something fun here? Uh, now he has a charge yeah. token, right? Yes. But I think I'm... Do I kill that guy? Is that the player try to kill him? But I think I'm making a charge action. He has three movements, right? Yeah, over here. And I'm hitting against that guy. I'm rolling two dice. And I get one success. One success. Uh, he has two defensive dice looking for a veil. Oh, crit, crit! Yeah. <laughs> the thing, the crits yeah. continue. The, those dice yeah. are. 
Loaded. Not tournament legal. Uh, I would assume. Okej, okay, okej. Okay. Um, so bad squid is fine. Do you want to play anything? No, I don't. Uh, I'm gonna make a move action over here. Move action? No, I, I passed on to you. Yeah. So I don't have anything to score. Stuff. And I don't have anything to score, but I'm keeping all of mine. Uh, but I'm drawing two new power cards. Yeah, that is it. I'm gonna score intimidating display. Score this on an end phase if a surviving friendly fighter has a higher wound characteristic than any other surviving fighter. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. And I think I'm gonna play Great Fortitude. And I think I'm gonna. I kind of need to be cautious. I think I'm gonna give it to. I'm gonna give it to Molog. It's 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 too good a card to waste. Yep. And then I'm just drawing a new objective, and I'm drawing four new. Yes. Right. Uh, but it's an even game. Even game for sure. Mm. And let's see who starts it. Ooh. Crit. And a one hole. Crit one hole is mm. a crit half. So I get on the side. And I think I'm starting here. Okay. I think that that seems to be the play. Um, I'm making an attack action with Haskell over here, shooting against what what Stalag his name Squig. is Stalag Squig. Yeah, yeah, I, that has to be the play. Yeah, well, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, black powder pistols. I get uh, one success. One success. Rolling two now. Is looking for block. Uh, one block. One block, and he can't be pushed. Which is not great. I would like to give uh, Molog soundless step. After this fighter's activation, push this fighter 1x. Yep. I think I'm gonna play King of the Deeps. Plus one dice in the first attack activation made by a friendly fighter in the next activation. Step plus two dice instead if one or more of that fighter's attack actions damage characteristics are greater than the target's wound characteristics. Alright, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna try to make a charge action. Yep. Mm. I think I need to start by making the Whirling Club hit the dog. Because then I have one attack that is higher, so I'm rolling four attack die against him. Yep. And then I'm gonna side into four attack die against Doggo. Looking for Fury. Uh, that's two. Uh, I get one success, yeah. which isn't good enough. So he's dealt how He's much? dealt uh, two damage. Yeah, that is enough. And then I'm making... You get a point for that one. Yeah, okay. okay. Because it's the second, second yeah. dog. And then I am going to make a attack action roll against uh, Quiet Pock. Yeah. And then I'm only rolling two dice. Looking for Fury. Oh, sorry. Oh, double crit! <laughs> And, and he has... I need one crit here, but that is a crit. Yeah, okay. And you can stay where you are. And I would like to score... Uh, Savage Exemplar. Score this middle after release attack action that takes one enemy fighter out of action. Yeah. And uh, as a reaction, do I want to go anywhere? Hmm, I think I'm gonna push myself over here. I'm gonna give Visage of Destruction minus one dice from ad adjacent enemy fighters attack action that targets this fighter to a minimum of one. It's restricted to leaders. Uh, then I have to give it to Molog. Yeah. Uh, Alright, um, I am making a charge attack action and I'm shooting Bat Squig. Okay. Um, but as I declare that reaction, I am gonna also play. Uh, unfair fight. Reaction play this during a friendly fight attack action after a declare action step. If the friendly fight has one or more supporting fighters, stagger the target. The attack action is oh, previous okay. until it has been resolved. So I'm rolling three dice. Uh, yep. And I get one success. So I'm re rolling. Is it one dice you can re roll with previous? Uh, no, Grievous adds, so that uh, yeah, each crit yeah. is, uh, yeah. Stagger adds uh, one reroll. One reroll, yeah. Let's see, uh, it's still only one success. Okay, so two defensive dice, uh, I get uh, nothing. 
Uh, nothing, but you're still only dealt one damage. Okay. <laughs> um, but he can be pushed, right? Yeah. And he's, does he have fly? But I don't think he, he, he ignores push. lethal hexes. Oh, this fighter. Alright, so he ignores them completely. Yes, that is not ideal. Yeah, but then I think. Do you want to play anything? Um, no, not right now. Yeah, then I'm gonna play making a point. Choose a friendly Amos Breeder has killed the chosen fighter makes the following attack action. Finisher. Um, oh. Range 3, rolling 2 dice. Uh, I have plus one, di one dice if I'm adjacent, but I'm not. So. Yeah. Uh, but is he still staggered? He's, he's staggered. Yeah, he's still I think staggered. Staggered. He's still staggered. He's still staggered. Yes. Uh, so that is double successes, and I th don't think I dare to reroll any of those. <laughs> you need a crit, push. but uh, or two successes. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't get it. Yeah. So that squig goes out. Yes, he is taken out of action. That's actually a problem for me. That's actually a problem. Yeah. Uh, and now I get to score eye for eye. Score is immediately after a friendly fighter attack action. Take the target out of action if one or more friendly fighters are out of action. And I have three friendly fighters out of action. Okay. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, I can uh, try to fish for a card, can I? Uh, no, I'm gonna draw a power card with my second activation. But I think the play still has to be like hitting Stalag Squig, right? But the Stalag you can still like hurt people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he still has like, but I don't think I have to be too worried about him however. So yeah, I'm making a charge action over here and I'm hitting Stalag Squig. Okay. Um, so I'm rolling two dice and I get one success. One success, I'm rolling two dice. Looking for block. Uh, I get one success. Yeah. So nothing, nothing really happens, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna draw a, another power card. I think I'm giving great strength to Amos Dancaro, and then I'm playing for the order. Play this in the power step of a friendly opponent. Give an upgrade. Remove move charge tokens. Oh, okay. Um, I would like to give. Uh, Blood Rack Mask to Moloch now. Uh, reaction of this enemy fighter's move action. Of an enemy fighter's move action, if the enemy fighter is within one hex of this fighter, deal one damage. Mm, smart. Yeah, then I'm hitting against Stalag Squig. Okay. I'm hitting Stalag Squig again. Please die. I get no successes. Stalag Squig stands. Yeah, Stalag Squig, the amazing man. Yeah, so you have one activation left, right? I have one activation left. Uh, how do I want to do this? Should I try to hit with Stalag Squig? Do you have any like... No, I don't have any special stuff. Only but he is so, so bad at hitting stuff. Like yeah. one die. It's terrible. Yeah, I think Stalag Squig has grown tired of your your stuff. It's gonna hit one die looking for smash. Nope. No. All right. I, in, I want to dwell one of these. Uh, and I would like to... How should I do this? Yeah, I want to play sidestep. I'm gonna push one of my fighters over here. Yeah. And I'm gonna duel this. And I'm gonna duel this. Yeah. Uh, and then we go into my score step. Uh, I would like to score a surge objective. Yeah. Score this middle of the power step in which you dealt one or more times and one of the feature tokens you dealt was in a hex in enemy territory and occupied by your leader. Yeah. I'm gonna score dominant position. Score this if you hold more objectives than any other warband. Yeah. Or two. And I'm also gonna to score proof of guilt because uh, each surviving enemy fighter, at least one, is in the same player's territory. Yeah. And we are. For two. And then I have one here that I think I'm gonna to have to discard. And it's tools of the faithful. Scores in the end phase if there are three or more surviving friendly fighters and each of those fighters has an upgrade. And I have three fighters. But Pot doesn't have an upgrade. No, but they I think I have to discard it because I there's a big chance that one of them is gonna yeah. die and um, yeah, I, I don't think so. I'm discarding that and I'm drawing three new objective cards and I'm drawing four new. Yeah. Uh, the only card I can score is awesome predator. I have the primacy token. Uh, and I kind of want to keep the other two. 
I think I'm gonna play Blooming Spores onto uh, Moloch so that he gets one additional damage. Yep. And then my my illusion upgrades go to the great. All right. We remove these tokens and we make a roll off. Yep. To see who gets to start. I get a crit. Crit. Uh, you get to decide. I get to decide. Uh, then I think I am starting. If I manage. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make an, an attack action with Pock against uh, Molog with crossbow launcher. And I get two successes. Two successes. I have only one defensive roll. Uh, I don't get it. Yeah, so you're dealt two damage, but I guess do you have any reductions of any kind? Uh, no, I don't have actually. Mm. Just you have more extra damage and stuff, yeah. But I'm gonna push him away over there. Okay. Into, into the corner, uh, so I can keep him keep him away from okay. me. But now you have angered Molog. Now he inspires. Yes. And um, as does Stalag Squig. Yeah, welcome Stalag Squig to. Yeah, I'm gonna play Protective Brand onto Amos Don Carol. Makes it so I can reroll this. The, um, the target is fighter attack action cannot have support of supporting fighters. Uh, you can reroll one defies in this fighter's defensive rolls. Attackers that target this fighter cannot have supporting fighters, and this card cannot be broken. Okay, okay. I think I have to use Stalic Squig <laughs> still. <laughs> Uh, rolling two dice, looking for hammers. Nothing. Then I am playing Charm Horseshoe onto uh, Hexbane. Sure. And it makes it so plus one dice to the fighter's attack actions. This fighter's attack actions have a snare. I think I'm making a charge action with this guy. Or Remember that he doesn't have the crossbow. Yeah. But I'm thinking where to move. I'm, I'm moving him over here. Okay. And I'm hitting Stalag. Ah, okay, so short can get Stalag yeah. Squig. And I'm hitting Stalag Squig. Um, crossbow stock. Uh, one success. One success. And I'm rolling two dice, looking for block. And Double crit. crit. <laughs> that Stalag is Squig better is than what I can do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what happens now... Um, oh, I forgot to use... No, I haven't been able to use the price of victory because I have no upgrades on hand. But I do get to score in Pendant Doom. Scores immediately after an activation of one, one or more enemy fighters or adjacent to a more friendly fighter. Yeah. You get to score that one. It puts you up in the lead. Yes. I would like to play a card. Alright. Commanding Stride. Push your leader up to three hexes. After this push, your leader must be in a starting hex. Uh, yes. Uh, and I get to use this surprise. No. It's only after a move. No, action. that's not a move action. Say like push. I wanted to like mm -hmm. go and try to hit your leader because I don't I don't know how to deal with him. I'm I'm never gonna be able to. No wait. I, if I get if I get into like perfect close distance, then I can. Actually. But after you play that, I think I want I want to dwell this back to okay. uh, dwelling that one. Yeah. Do you want to play anything? No. Nope. Then I am dwelling this one. Okay. Then I would like to play Halls of Hidden Eyes. Rolls of uh, half and double or successes in attack rolls if the target is in a cover hex. This effect persists until another waypoint is played. That one is, is pretty strong. Um, I do get to score Southern Revelations, however. Yeah. Um, since I flipped two or more feature tokens. But that is, is not yeah. great. Uh, I don't know if it is time for me to make... Yeah, I think it is. Uh, I, I want to pile on some upgrade cards. Foul Temper. can reroll one attack dice in this fight's attack action. Alright, so that happens before I yeah. score. Yeah, and then Seal of Primus. This fight's attack action have cleave and then snare. Yeah. Yeah, not much to say <laughs> about that. Yeah, Molog is gonna go in and he's gonna try to find a hammer symbol against... Pock. Yeah. Pock is luckily not standing on a... He is not. But that is a One. hammer. Uh, and he is double. And he gets a success. Two yeah. successes actually. Uh, no, no one, one success. Yeah. And I have cleave. 
Ja, oh, that's not good. Uh, how much damage? Four. <laughs> Four damage. No, five actually. <laughs> yeah, then it's not much to say. He's just taken out of the yeah. action. And I'm gonna score no remorse. Score this middle after the friendly fighter's attack action that takes an enemy fighter alive action if that attack action has damage is greater than the ta- wound characteristics. Yeah, it, it did. Yeah. Uh, now you can do something nifty, however, if you can use your reaction. Because I would like yeah. to use mine otherwise. I would like to use uh, silent, soundless step. Yeah, I would like to use Price of Victory to play Woodcutter Strength onto Amos Don Carol. Okay, okay. Uh, so does, does, no, this is a different timing window. Like you have after, after you, something died, that is your reaction window. And this is after the activation. Yes. So I can still push myself over here. Uh, it is right. Yeah. After uses from the take out the yeah this. Okay. But uh, then you get to you're pushing yourself closer. Yeah. Uh, I do get to score weapons of justice. Score it immediately after a friendly fighter is given their second or subsequent upgrade in the same round. And I get yeah, yeah. this one That's earlier. You have all, you have gone to jump through your entire objective. Yeah, I discarded one, but yeah. Yeah, but still that's. I should have done this before. Yeah, that's played, but I want to play you stand accused and give plus how much damage life does Molog have left? Uh, four. Yeah, so you stand accused plus one dice <laughs> against Molog. Oh, okay, okay. This effect persists until the chosen fighter is out of action or ends an activation in your territory. Okay. Um, but that means. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna make the power no. move. <laughs> yeah, because I have plus one die. No, that's not with him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but I'm not still. But but you gave woodcutter strength to Amos, right? Yeah, he's the only one who can yeah. have it. He's the only one who can have it. I should probably have put you stand accused on that one, but it, it doesn't matter. I guess I made you my. Sure. You can kill. You can kill him with woodcutter strength. I can kill Molog. You need two successes. Yeah. Then you kill him. Then he's dead, and with three dice, that is not impossible, I guess. But <laughs> I have to um, warn you. <laughs> yeah, he, he's going to hit back. Yeah. But I am going to hit back otherwise. Yeah, but not sure you can. All comes down to you whether or not you make the attack. Mm. Yeah, but I guess no one remembers a coward, right? <laughs> so I'm, I'm moving over here, charge action, and I'm hitting Molo. Okay. You're going to stand on the cover Yeah. Yeah. That's two. Uh, Oh, no, did they roll one dice too many? Uh, you have one additional from Stand Accused, right? Yeah. They rolled okay. four dice, I should have rolled three. So yeah. we re rolling. Move magic. Uh, that is. Do you have any re rolls? Um, no, but that is one success. One success, I have one defensive die looking for shields. Uh, don't get it. You don't get it. Um, so he is actually dealt damage here. Uh, he is dealt three damage. Three damage puts me down to one. Yeah, and then I can push you. And the question is, where do I push you? Yeah, I'm pushing you over there. Uh, yeah, for my third, I'm just gonna hit. Uh, and I'm rolling two dice with one dice reroll. Yeah. Trying to get that Amos. Uh, that is two successes. Uh, I don't. The target of this fight attack. Attackers no, attack cannot have, cannot have yeah, supporting yeah, okay. so Two successes. Two successes, and I have one. Uh, and I get the success, but only one. So yeah. How much That's damage? That's five damage in the hand. Yeah, it's five damage. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's not even a point in playing any of that, so yeah, he's just out of time. Yeah, and, and I would like to score this as well. Unequal contest. Score this in middle after you friendly fight successful attack action if the attack roll only included successes. Yeah. I mean, this one is, is a tricky one because I, if I attack Molog here, I'm rolling five dice. Yeah, and, and remember, I basically can't get into melee with you. But uh, Yeah, but you, you can still get kind of close, I guess. Five dice. Yeah. That should be enough to kill the Molog. But mm. <laughs> he's a scary dude. He's yeah. a scary dude. He is a scary dude. Uh, yeah, but I think I'm gonna have to do that as well. Because he has a range, I can move over there. 
Yeah, let's shoot Molog. Rolling five dice. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Do I have any rerolls? But that is crit success. And crit success, can I do anything about that? No. He is. Yeah, actually. then you're dealt. Yeah, you're dealt two damage. Yeah, and that kills me, and that gives you three glory points. Uh, why three? Uh, two for being a large target and three for oh, seal of the primus. primus. Oh, yeah. yeah. What can I do? I can't score this. Um, I was gonna have such a good like <laughs> final. I was gonna pick comp four glory from the final activation. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to ditch a card. Draw a new one with my final. Yeah, I'm in my yeah. final I should probably remove. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can live on to hope. I'm drawing a card in my final. Okay, you're not attacking a Stalag Squig. Oh, I charged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. He doesn't have a charge, yeah. but uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I don't have anything. Right. Do you want to go into the scoring step? Sure. Uh, I do score uh, the greater hunt if you're more hunters, friendly hunters, and enemy hunters. Yeah. For one. And I also get to score lives well spent. Uh, two or more friendly hunters out of uh, action, I scored three or more objectives. And I also score the primacy. Yeah. That I can't be. score find egg path, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna score clean kills. Uh, score this on an enemy if enemy fight with a combined wound trees of six or more out of action. And no enemy fight has one or more wound counter. Yeah, that is correct. But unfortunately, that leaves me at 6, uh, 11, 13, and you have way, way yeah, more. 9, 10, 17, 18. Yeah, yeah. so, so thank you for the moss. Yeah, but finally, I get back on the board. Uh, yeah, but we I didn't escape didn't. like a crit heavy game. <laughs> no, we didn't. And I churned through almost my entire deck. I yeah. dis discarded one objective, but other than that, I scored 10 objectives, I believe, which yeah. is good. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I think you played really clever, like putting Molog here and then knocking him back with uh, with uh, Pock two times was yeah. really really annoying. Yeah, it, it, it decreases his use on that a lot because I was never really in fear here of him, him getting in since yeah. we were. I think the key star player here was Haskell. <laughs> yeah, Haskell, Haskell did some good work. I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to use the retractable pistol duel. Yeah, speed. but that, that was because I, when you got that onto him, I realized that I'm never gonna be able to touch him, so I need to focus on every other target. Yeah, but the uh, Stalag Squeak survived <laughs> yeah. a lot of hits. Uh, he tanked yeah, yeah. like <laughs> three or four rolled, attacks. <laughs> yeah, and I think he rolled like five crits on his own. Yeah, so he was pretty good. And we started the game <laughs> with rolling double crit, double crit, so it kind of set the tone for, for, yeah. for the night. But after so, that, it was more like normal, uh, yeah. I guess. We had a few moments. But yeah. uh, but I think like Molig was kind of fun playing against your guys, because you had a bunch of fighters, but each time I killed one, you got one of your reactions, yeah. played an upgrade. And I think this is what the Underworld is meant to be, like, back big, and forth. back and forth, huge interactions, uh, drawing cards, churning through each of the power and objective decks. Yeah, I, I, I somehow think that this is a fun matchup, actually. Yeah, like, it's a super fun matchup, I, I think. And I think uh, Hexpens Hunters are, are good, they're fun to play, and a lot of stuff happens, you can play a lot of cards, and yeah, I like yeah. them. Uh, I wonder how, how beginner friendly are because this is by far the most like uh, reaction heavy and uh, like rules heavy warband I've seen. Yeah, there's a lot of rules and uh, uh, each of the fighters have different inspire requirements. But that said, like when you do activate them, they are kind of clean. You don't need to keep track of, of anything other than when they are dying. Yeah, they are quite straightforward as well, and a lot of their objective cards can be played even though you're like losing. <laughs> like yeah. you don't need to kill stuff, and that's that's good. Uh, a lot of it centers around around upgrades, and I didn't have a lot of upgrades, so I couldn't use the like price of victory reaction. I only I only use it once. Yeah. Um, because I never had upgrades on, on hand really. Yeah, yeah but uh, I think like their early start and your early start in this game is good. Like. Uh, it's not fun when you like have other warbands where you get into a game where um, you are losing. 
Yeah. And then you're stuck with a bunch of upgrades that you didn't get to play in the first round. Um, you don't really have anything to, like, you don't have, to have, have any compensation going into round two. Yeah, you have, you like, it's a like a turn. comeback mechanic. When you yeah. do something, you get to play something. And, yeah, some of the, the stuff are... are yeah, I think, I think they are getting better at designing. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next uh, drum chaos warband. Yeah. Uh, like the forcing thing where charges. you yeah forcing shards that's gonna be super interesting to see how it works out on the on the playing field yeah and like I think most of these recent warpants have been like home runs I'm I yeah it's a great <laughs> spot yeah I, I I don't like want to sound like we're mm. praising Games Workshop unnecessarily but I really do think that the Exile Dead and these Hex Pains Hunters and the Drug Score Shows and uh, seem like one notch. Better than the old warbands, which just like had good attack rolls. Yeah, uh, and I think uh, uh, this warband, uh, you should definitely try them out uh, uh, because they're they're loads of fun. Uh, we should we should play them against like the Exile Dead as well. Like yeah, clash <laughs> clash the new yeah. warbands. So so thematic. I think it's a correct. fun matchup because they have like a lot of small fighters and. and yeah. A lot of things that happen. I want to play a game with Kainan's Reapers that was a while ago. Yeah, yeah that, was, uh, that was definitely a while ago. Yeah. But uh, yeah, with that, we'll leave you and we'll catch you in the next game. Yeah, bye. bye.